All these brand new companies are just taking advantage of the new consumer in like this brand new market that doesn't really have too much knowledge on it. They're just selling boof and bunk and bullshit. Ooh, not a lot of smoke gonna be thrown around in this video. It's gonna be a lot of talking, so let's make sure to get some in the air right now. Fat dab uh, melon soda rosin. Juice. So you gotta make sure to use a 45 banger, man. God damn. This is my first time hitting a slurp out of this. I gotta, no, no. All right, that was a fucking fail and a half. Let's, uh, let's at least take a blinker, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. <coughs> Short little video today and our third video on Delta 8, which seems to be like the hottest topic in cannabis right now. If you missed the first two, my first time trying it and a cool little breakdown of what is Delta 8, make sure you go check those out. This one is just gonna be on Delta 8 THC versus CBD. Are they the same, kind of similar? Are they interchangeable? I have a lot of patients, or patients, that sounds like I'm a fucking doctor. I have a lot of fans that are like, yo, I use CBD a lot. Do you think I should dabble into Delta 8? Or hey, I smoke a lot of, you know, regular THC. Should I, whatever, whatever, yada, yada. First off, we'll start with the similarities because there really aren't too many. They both come from the cannabis plant and that's pretty much where they stop. They're both cannabinoids that come from the cannabis plant and that interact with your endocannabinoid system, which is a system that regulates your mood and your hunger and emotions. It's a really crazy system that interacts with your brain and every part of your body. It just keeps you in like a homeostasis kind of thing. It's chill. You have these little receptors on your brain that take in these cannabinoids and that make you feel a certain way. And both CBD and THC, both Delta-8 and Delta-9, are all cannabinoids and they all are kind of just working with your system in the same way. But their effects are a little bit different. So both Delta-8 THC and CBD are both naturally occurring in cannabis, but in trace amounts, like pretty small amounts. There are certain plants that people grow nowadays for certain CBD and CBG properties, but a lot of it is just isolated. And that's the same thing with Delta-8. Now here's where it kind of differs. Delta-8, when it's isolated, the molecular structure is almost exactly the same as Delta-9. As you can see right here, they're pretty much identical the only difference is I think the carbon bonds to the eighth something in Delta 8 and the ninth something in Delta 9. It's, it's a very slight difference, but that bond in the eighth spot instead of the ninth is actually what makes Delta 8 a lot less psychoactive than Delta 9. A lot of people report they have too much anxiety, they have too much paranoia. You know those people, like I know some of those people, like they just smoke weed, they just can't smoke weed. Like no matter what strain it is, no matter how they ingest it, edibles or just a bong hit or a small hit of a joint, like it just tweaks them the fuck out. And it's nothing they can do about it. It's their brain, it's how their brain is processing the cannabinoids and all that shit. Delta 8 is man-made, so it's a lot more stable. It's controlled in a lab. So that stableness brings down the psychoactivity a little bit, so you can still feel the effects. You can still feel high, still feel baked, but it's just not as much. I don't like calling it diet weed. A lot of people call it CBD that, but I really do think Delta 8 THC is diet weed. Because CBD isn't even psychoactive. That's the huge difference between the two, is Delta 8 and Delta 9 are both psychoactive, meaning that you're gonna feel something off of it. Whether it's like the tiniest bit, it's gonna change your mind state a little bit. Just like scientifically factually it is CBD does not do that it doesn't activate any of the receptors in your brain that make you feel like whoa but you still get the medicinal properties of cannabis with CBD so if you just want to break it down in like super layman's terms you all get the effects of the cannabis plant in each of these things but Delta 9, you feel really high. Delta 8, you don't feel that high, but it's still kind of there. And then CBD is just, you don't feel high at all, but you still get the effects. Effects meaning like you help with your anxiety or help with sleeping or help with your lack of appetite or help with, um, you know, some people say like cancer and all that shit. I don't really want to say all that, but there's people that go through chemotherapy and weed helps them in certain ways that regular medicine and pills don't. So for those certain people, there's CBD available, you know what I mean? Especially for cancer patients, because I know that actually is a common medicine for a lot of cancer patients, but Delta 9, if you're smoking like some super fucking top shelf from the dispensary, you're just gonna get high off your ass, which might be cool and nice, but like you want to control your doses a little bit, and that's what CBD and Delta 8 THC are for. So it's like, it, there's just something for everybody, bro. I hate this whole little like gatekeeping shit in the community where it's just like, oh, you're smoking diet weed, or like, you're not even, you know, taking three gram bong rips or a gram dab, like, are you even, do you even like weed? like? Bro, that shit is so weird. It's just so lame. Like, bro, let people enjoy weed how they want. You know what I mean? It's like the best part about weed is that you can smoke pens or rub it on your skin or you can control how high you get from it. Like, it's all the fucking same. It all comes from the same plant, bro. It's all cannabis. It's beautiful. Just, just love 
hey, love each other, you know? Fuck, just not to be on some hippie shit, but like, you know, no need to be so negative. Uh, anyway, shout out to Plain Jane. They offer both CBD and Delta 8. This video's not over, but I just realized that I haven't sparked anything and they have these Delta 8 um, rolls in here. So we haven't done a slow-mo in a while. Um, so I'm kind of down to just bust these open real quick. It's hard to find a reliable and decent like sponsor for CBD and THC because there's just so many brands out there and there's a lot of bullshit, especially with Delta 8 because it's just so new. All these brand new companies are just taking advantage of the new consumer and like this brand new market that doesn't really have too much knowledge on it. They're just selling boof and bunk and bullshit right off the shelves, bro. There's probably like 10 or 20 brands in the CBD and Delta 8 world that are like really trustworthy and reliable and those are the ones that I try to work with. But like, if you guys saw the emails that I get every day, I get like 10 Delta 8 email companies every day and it's like, this is just garbage. Like, wow, these straight up just look like cigarettes. This is fucking crazy, dude. Um, <laughs> I'm not a cigarette kind of guy. I've actually never smoked one in my life. I'm pretty happy about that. Wow, this is straight up a fucking cig. Okay, well, fuck. Use the camera settings there real quick. Let's make sure that that is focused. Let's hope and pray, baby. Let's hope and pray. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, cheers, everyone. It's been a while. This shit's a straight stogue, bro. Like, this is the fucking stogie times 10, you know what I mean? Like, this is a cigarette. Let's see if it gets as high though, man. Delta, because that's a, that's a big question that I get too, man. It's like, Eric, does Delta 8 even get you high? And it does, it does for sure. Now, if you're taking like three gram blunts to the face all the time and you're smoking crazy all the time, you know what I mean? It probably won't, you know what I mean, affect you as much, but it's it's not for you then, you know what I mean? Stick to your Delta 9, bro, you're good. There's people that would appreciate and will appreciate Delta 8 and how it doesn't get them as high and you can still feel, you know what I mean? It's good, it's good shit. I think Delta 8 is good for cannabis and good for the weed community in general. Maybe not these scummy companies that are trying to take advantage and sell bullshit, but in general, I think Delta 8 is good. I, would, I wouldn't say it's a CBD replacement just because CBD doesn't get you high and you can pass a drug test and still get all your medicinal effects of CBD, so that's a huge benefit. But if you want to get that psychoactive effect, because I know some people move to CBD because they didn't want to feel as high, but they wanted to feel like something, you know what I mean? Like there's no, there's no replacing getting baked. So I think Delta 8 allows that and it's dope, bro. I fuck with Delta 8. Just make sure you're not getting Delta 8 from your local like fucking gas station or little sketchy Habibi smoke shop that's like mm, maybe selling like snake oils and shit. And you're like, what the fuck? It's honestly sick. It tasted pretty good. Uh, I got a discount code for these guys. They have a uh, they have CBD and Delta 8, which I fuck with. So there's a lot of companies, as far as I, th I think, I'm not 100% sure on this. A lot of the Delta 8 out there that's completely legal, that abides by the 2018 Farm Bill, comes from hemp and CBD in general. So if you have a brand that has good CBD and has been in the game for a while and they offer Delta 8, it's probably a good sign. You know what I mean? Like. The number one thing that I look for in like, if you're just searching, you know what I mean? I feel like it's just like the really common sense stuff. You wanna make sure they've been around a while. You wanna make sure they have hella customers, maybe a couple reviews online. You can see the product, like maybe like a video reviews on YouTube and shit. That's what I like, you know what I mean? You guys aren't stupid. You guys know what to buy, what not to buy. I know what to promote, what not to promote. Like I know what's garbage, bro. I'll have people emailing me like, yo, just started this Delta 8 company like yesterday. You wanna be the first to try? I'm like, what the fuck? Hell no, like what? And then I get these ones that are like, yo, I'll send you all this Delta 8 for a post and this and that. I'm like, yo, I'm not pushing your shitty ass Delta 8 to my followers. Like, I gotta try it first. I gotta make sure it's good first. Fuck with Plain Jane. I fuck with uh, a couple of other brands out there that I made videos on in the past. It's like, it's not some good shit out there. I'm gonna continue to search for the good Delta 8 so you guys don't have to. You know what I mean? I'll sacrifice my lungs for you. Don't even worry about it. This is nice, man. This is, yeah, I'm, I'm high. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Delta 8's the shit. Damn, this is sick. Let me just like take this with me. And it, I think this is like, not technically, it is legal everywhere. So you just carry with these with you whenever you want. Like a pack of smokes, it looks like it too. All right, hey bro. What do you got there? It's like I actually got some, some Delta 8. This is crazy. I'm like actually baked. <laughs> what? This is fucking insane. Um, I don't know. I'm just so used to like, there's CBD out there. And it's like CBD is not psychoactive at all. And I'll, I'll ingest some CBD sometimes. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that. Um, you can combine Delta 8 
with CBD, just like you would with Delta 9 and CBD. If you guys don't know what that does, CBD binds to the same exact receptors that THC does. So if you ever need to calm the fuck down, you just smoke some CBD, ingest some CBD, and then you'll be chilling and you'll be calm and you'll be all right again, man. And some people tweak the fuck out. Uh, I don't think you will need to do that with Delta 8, but if you do need to, like find yourself just taking too much Delta 8 and you're starting to tweak out, you can smoke a little bit of CBD and then you'll be all right, you'll be A-OK. -okay. Like I said, real short video, nothing crazy. Uh, I hope you learned something. Make sure to like, follow, subscribe if you're new, you know what I mean, all that shit, comment. Um, if, smoke, if you're smoking Delta 8, what are you smoking, man? Or how do you ingest your Delta 8? I think that's the coolest part about it. Smoke it, dab it, vape it, whatever, bro. It's just exactly like THC, it's amazing. I'll be coming a big fed of Delta 8 slowly over time as I make these videos and shit and learn more about it and like research it. I'm like, fuck, man. Because like one of the main goals that I started out with with this channel was to like destigmatize weed and just like, you know how there's just like a certain stigma around weed, especially in high school. That shit was so whack where it's like some people thought I was like really cool or smart, or whatever, whatever, yada, yada, hard work and yada. And it's like, oh, you smoke weed? It's like, oh, and then their like, perception completely changes just because you smoke a little weed, just because you take a bong or just because you take a dab. But if someone like drinks a beer or takes a shot, it's completely okay. They get blackout, do some dumb shit. It's like, oh, they just had another night. But it's like, I enjoy this. And then I'm like, I'm lazy or like, you know what I mean? I'm this, I'm that, I'm stupid. Like, fuck. No. The more shit like this comes out, Delta 8, that's accessible to as many people as possible. We break that stigma, you know? If, if Johnny down the street and your teacher and your counselor and this, and your doctor and all these people are smoking weed, like, it's gonna, like, who cares? Like, everyone smokes weed, you know what I mean? And I think that's what we're slowly inching towards, especially with products like this that don't get people way too high. Because there's definitely a market for, like, this is the strongest, craziest shit, 99% TAC isolate, like insane stuff, and you dab it and you're like, yeah, like having a half seizure, like there's a market for that. I love that shit. I'm a big fan of that. I'm also a big fan of just like the everyday person, you know what I mean? Maybe like, maybe Auntie Karen at home that wants to get high, you know what I mean? I, I wanna get her high. Fuck yeah, Auntie Karen. Um, shout out. I love you guys, thanks for watching, thanks for being here. I'm talking way too much now. I was gonna make this video four minutes and 20 seconds. I thought it was gonna be really short, but I guess not. I had to finish this up real quick. Um, you guys are the best. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for chilling. I'll see you soon. Make sure to check out Plain Jane if you wanna get yourself some CBD or Delta 8 THC. Uh, and I love you. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.